I follow the records he rap. Cuts create sound effects. Follow, follow the records he rap. One R in the alphabet. Follow, follow the records he rap. Rap, 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 rap. Boom! You like that earthquake effect? Super classy, right? It's Rex been here with the lesson. Let's get started. All right, open up Beatmaker 2 on your iOS device. Hit New Project. Hit Drums. Hit Empty Preset. Click on the drum machine picture. All right, this is where we want to assign these pads to your MIDI device. Uh, bottom left, hit that. That'll open up. Make sure you hit Learn. They'll all light up. So this is where you click a pad in the software and then you click whatever button or drum pad you want to correspond to that certain cell. So do that with as many drum pads as you like, but remember you want to save some drum pads for functions in Loop EHD. What I do is I have the top row trigger functions in Loop EHD. All right, so now that we got that going, we want to load up some samples. Click the Learn button to exit out of there. Hit the waveform on the left and it'll open up that sample menu just to the right of it. Hit the quick load button, browse to the samples you want to add to your drum pad. I'm not going to get into any detail, but you can add your own samples into Beatmaker 2. It's pretty easy. Uh, find your sample and just drag it over to the cell like that. And put a bass drum right there. Put a booty clap over right here. Put like a hip hop hi-hat all over here. So that's pretty much it. Just make sure you hit the home button and current project and save. Now for Loop EHD, hit the bottom left triangle. That'll pop up. Hit settings. Hit control inputs. Uh, find your MIDI device. Click the arrow to the right of it. Um, these are all the bindings that I set up. You can set them up however you want really. So this is my toggle record binding. You can check it out and look at how I set it up. If you want to add one, just go to add binding. It'll bring you to this page. It says waiting for events. Uh, just click the drum pad that you want to assign and then it'll take you through the steps to assign functions. There's a lot of room for creativity. I'd like to see you guys come up with some cool stuff on your own. So I'm not going to go into detail of how I do it. Let's get into Audio Bus 2 now. Let's bring that up. On the left hand side, hit the plus button. System audio input will be the iRig. Hit the plus button again. Hit Beatmaker 2. Click to launch it. And then load the project that we saved previously. It always switches back over to Audio Bus like that, so you gotta go back into it. Browse for your project and load it up. Click the bottom middle part where it has the drum pads. Click the drum machine. Uh, hit the bottom left button. That'll come up. Make sure Omni is on. That's very important. Then you're all set in there. You can switch back to Audio Bus. All right. Load up Loopy HD on the far right plus button. Tap to launch it. And you should be good to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Hope you put it to good use. This is a quick little routine I did. Really quick, one take, but it shows you what you can do.